guys what's up welcome back to another edition of the fishing teacher here and really appreciate you guys checking the video out if you guys hear some noise in the video it's the kids yeah, out here they got, they got they think they're holding the chicken so they're pretty loud out here so i'm gonna go in the garage and try to do today's video anyway guys what we're going to talk about is small lipless crankbaits in the fall time of the year i got one specific crankbait that i want to show you guys that i catch a lot of fish in the fall time of the year sort of give you guys some tips and advice on them how to fish it and what to look for and all that type of stuff so real quick guys i just want to remind everybody out there if you haven't had a chance to please swing by and check out our fall lake map breakdowns at fishthemoment.com i'll put the lake map breakdown link in the description we got them for all year long but right now i know everybody's getting ready for their fall session so if you guys would like to check those out it'd be much appreciated there okay guys i'm going to show you right off the bat what it is and i'm going to explain to you how it works why it works so good in the fall time and it's a quarter ounce chartreuse rattle trap. Um, this is probably a lot of guys haven't fished this thing. If you, it's, if it's not like a well-known fall technique, these little rattle traps like this. And if you're not familiar with what this is, since this is a, you know, the fishing teacher is for beginning and, you know, guys getting started fishing, a lipless crankbait is sort of like that. It's, it doesn't have a lip on it. It's, it's designed to vibrate tight through the water and it's got a lot of rattles in it. It makes a lot of noise when it comes through the water. And these have been around forever. They've been around for 50 years. They've been catching fish forever and they're still super productive under certain conditions. Now they, they make a lot of different sizes on the lipless crankbait, anywhere between an eighth of an ounce up to one ounce, but this is the quarter ounce. This is one of the smaller sizes that you can use. Now, the thing about it, one of the reasons I really like it in the fall time of the year is the shad in the fall are about as small as they get because they've been spawning ever since May. Um, they've been a lot of, lot of inch long shad out there this time of year in the fall. So the size of the lure resembles a lot of the size of the bait fish that the fish are after. That's number one. Number two, the depth that this thing runs in is really key in the fall time of the year under certain conditions. Now, the lipless crankbait is best if you've got conditions where the lake level is falling a little bit, which it happens a lot of times in the fall time. Sorry about the noise out there, they're all excited. But uh, it's good if the, if the lake level is falling a little bit. And if you have water visibility that's sort of in that one to three foot range is gonna be really good with a lot of rock. Now that's, this is the big key guys. You have to have a combination of the uh, stained water, the rock and the falling water out there. Now. The rock can be, uh, you know, riprap rock. It can be just regular, any type of chunk rock. But what I look for is the flatter banks. And you guys, what are you guys doing there with them? Huh? You guys want to the garage? Uh, no, we're getting ready to. You know what? What? I want to trap the chicken in there. Okay, well, let's go put those chickens up real quick and I'll finish the video. I got to get these chickens put up before we get going here, guys. <laughs> Just uh, be right back. Sorry, right, guys. Sorry for the distractions, but that's just what you get around here. We got the, all the kids playing all the time, and it's just sort of part of the reality of the uh, uh, video making around the block at house hotel. But anyway, guys, back to the conditions here. When you have the combination of the right water visibility, uh, right water temperatures, which the right water temperatures for this to work good is anywhere between like 60 to 75, possibly 80 degrees a mix of different type of rock, flat banks, and a little bit falling water. These things are absolutely deadly into the situations. Now, normally what I'll do is I like to stay like on the major creek arms if possible. And um, I like to stay towards the mouth of like the coves in there. I don't really like to go back in the back ends. I like to stay more down the main part of the creek and um, basically fish it on like some type of a seven foot medium action bait cast rod, 10 to 12 pound test fluorocarbon line and just really try to fish it super shallow. This is a technique that works best in less than three foot of water. So most of the time I'll cast it up to the bank there. And depending upon the angle of the bank, I want that bait to just be barely off the bottom. So I'll adjust my rod height as far as my rod angle to how deep the water is. You know, a lot of times when you make your cast out there with it, start out with your rod tip high to keep the bait off from digging the rocks. And as it gets a little deeper, just drop the tip of that rod there and sort of bring it back to the boat. But anyway, guys, just a quick video. I just wanted to share this with you. Just grab you a few of them, an old chartreuse quarter ounce rattle trap, throw it around this fall. Be surprised how many fish you guys catch on it. So 
Anyway, we're gonna try to get these chickens rounded up here and thanks for tuning in and thanks for sticking with me through all the, uh, the distractions here. See you guys later.